Coming up on Manchester Part 1, we get the dirtiest pint yet. It's not looking good, is it? Sean comes up with another catchphrase. Out with the twang, in with the, in with the cream. And we visit the smallest bar in Europe. Sean counts how many pints he's had. Two, four, six, eight, probably the same ten in there. And we have a pint so good, it takes us back to Ireland. That is, for me, the best pint I've ever had in the UK. Here we are, Sean. We've made it to Mulligan's. Mulligan's first Apparently, pub. the best pint of Guinness in Manchester, possibly even the whole of the UK. That's what everyone's been saying. Well, that's what they're saying, you know. You know they can, We've they can heard that before, talk. yeah. Can they walk the walk is the question. Yeah. So, we're going to, you know, it looks great. <coughs> I've got Guinness all over the shop here. We've got you yeah. know, signs everywhere. So. It's a proper, proper Irish pub, this. I stayed here about three years ago and they've got accommodation upstairs. So if you do come for a pint in here and it's good, you want to stay, well, you can stay for as long as you like. Brilliant. That's so good news, isn't it? It's brilliant, yeah. So, we might end up staying here tonight, see how good it is. Yeah, yeah. so, fingers crossed anyway, I'm thirsty, let's get in there, Sean. Yeah, let's go and try a pint. Come on in, guys. First pub of the day. Mulligans, highly recommended by everybody. Let's have a look then. This looks a good one. Oh good my pint. goodness. Yeah. Looking oh. good guys, looking good. Right, it looks creamy. Domeo, Juliet, all that jazz. Let's just try it, Sean. All it looks right. Oh my goodness. Oh my giddy aunt Sean. That is the creamiest pint. We're back in Ireland. Oh, I know it's the first of the day and obviously we can get a bit carried away. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's just bliss Sean. Right, old style glass. That's what you want. I have never in all my days seen a proper old style Irish glass. In England. Tulip style in England. So instantly for me that has just upped it. Honestly in this pub as well. Look at it. I could be back in Ireland, Sean. We are back in Ireland. I'm sure we are. That ferry was quick. Oh, tell you what, Sean. This is gorgeous. You know, remember Powers Bar? Little flashback to Power. I'm going to go straight to 9.75. 9.9. Seriously? This is the closest thing I've had to that in the UK by some margin. Totally agree with you. Obviously we are in the UK, we're in Manchester, didn't expect to find this kind of quality, but it's brilliant. It's just, just perfect, There's, the creaminess is spot on, I mean just look at all that, the lace in already now is just sticking all over it, it's just beautiful and honestly Sean, I'm going to say it before you, well, I could drink that all day. I could drink this all day. We've met uh, the landlord of the place, he's, from, he's a Dublin man himself and he's got a guy behind the bar that knows everything about Guinness and keeps it consistently good. So whenever you come in, you should never get a bad pint. You're always gonna get a consistently good pint here in Mulligan's. So come on down, guys. I do love the pub as well. It's real Irish. There's, there's lots of Irish guys actually in here. I don't know if they're visiting, if they're working here, but obviously they know they're Guinness and they're coming to the right pub. Yeah, and they, we're in a little snug at the moment, so we've got our own little booth. Proper and there's a, literally a little hatch directly to the bar where we're sat. Um, which is brilliant, isn't it? So you could just sit here and be like, I order Guinness, please. Sit here all day, Charlie. Oh, Another oh, one bar, I do kind of wish we could, but you know, we've got our job to do. A very tough yeah. job of going around Manchester drinking Guinness. We sadly are going to have to move on. We are, and we can't have another one in here just now because we did that in Birmingham, Birmingham and it got very, very messy <laughs> towards the end of the day. So sometimes we can get a bit carried away, but we're going to try today to and right. not do that. Be sensible. Yeah. Be sensible. Could okay. be famous last words. Could be. But we're going to do our best, lads. Right, let's just let's, let's see this shall off. Shall we give it a review? And then put our scores at the doors. 
Oh my dear God. Pure cream. Just look at that. And not only that side, but that side as well. You know it's good. The lacing has stayed fairly white throughout and there's a cup full of cream in the bottom of that glass. It is our first pint of the day and yet the first pint is always the best pint. However, I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. That's seriously, seriously, as close to an Irish pint of Guinness. A good Irish pint of Guinness you're going to get. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 as well, oh, yeah. Sean. I am. Agreed. I'm doing it. We've agreed, Sean. 9 out of 10. It doesn't happen Lucas. often here on the Guinness of this channel, no, but sometimes no. we agree. No. And I know it's a first pint and all that jazz, uh, but honestly, the glass, the pub service, yeah. the fucking pint, the taste, the creaminess, everything is just spot on. And I think it would be a disservice to give it anything less than that. Yeah, we can't give it anything less than that. It deserves it. I am a little bit worried though. We started with a 9 out of 10. Can it only get better? It can only get worse, it I think. It can only get worse. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not really looking forward to the rest of the day. Whose idea is it to start here first? I don't know. But seriously, if it gets worse, we're going to have to come back and finish on one of them to make our day. Yeah. Absolutely spot on. That is, for me, the best pint I've ever had in the UK. Yeah. Hands down, pants down. Free mount um, uh, has been recommended again on Instagram, so yeah. Uh, hopefully, so thanks guys for recommending it. Let's go in there and see what their Guinness is like. I'm hoping for a good one. We've had a fantastic one down at Mulligans, so hopefully we can keep this. Can going. we keep it going? We've yeah. got a lot to live up to on this next time. Yeah. So let's get in. So there. Come, come on in. Second pub of the day. It's been a bit of a walk, 10 minute walk, and I'm really not impressed. Love the traditional glass again, but this one is rammy. It's not looking good, is it? Bubbles in the head, flat head, dirty glass. But I've had that before and it's tasted great. The so only thing I can say is the temperature feels to the touch all right. Yeah, temperature good. But there's no dome. But let's hope it tastes better than it looks, Sean. Yeah. You never know, you never Come know. On. Cheers. Taste isn't bad actually. Bit of a twang. But you love me for my twang. There is a bit of a twang. There's a twang going on again. It's twang, got that twang, twang, twang. metallic -y twang to it. Mm. It's it's got a bit of creaminess to it. There's a little bit of creaminess, but the head doesn't look great, Charlie. The slick doesn't look great. The glass the glass is putting me off because it it just it's doesn't dirty. look clean. But it's an old style glass again, Sean. Mm. I've never, in all of my days, had an old style glass until today, and I've had it twice in a row. And it's got the old style tap as well. Oh, I love the tap. I missed the pour. Did you see how she poured it? Was it? She right? poured it normally. Perhaps didn't let it stand as long, but she was very, very nervous. When I said we're just reviewing Guinness, and then she sort of stood back and went, "Oh, <laughs> I'm not sure it was down to the pour." I think it's down to the lines. Yeah, it is more of a taste thing yeah. for, for me. I know it, the presentation wasn't great. But like you say, it's a bit twangy, and we, we do get that twangy thing going on throughout. Especially after Mulligans, it had you know, it, it was a lot of pressure on this place. Um, someone, I think it was someone that did message me about this place, and it looked good on their photos. It looked, it, it looked definitely better than the ones we were yeah. served. Yeah. Sadly, we can only judge what we're given on the day. There's plenty of people in this pub drinking Guinness. Again, that's another good sign that you're going to get, usually, a good Guinness. Maybe going a little bit yellow. Maybe. Yeah, and mine. Only a little bit. Again, we're being picky here. I'm not so sure I would drink it all day. I think I'd go back to Mulligan's if I was going to drink it all day. It had potential. I love the glass. I love the tap. But sadly, the actual Guinness itself isn't blowing my socks off. I'm going to go straight for, on this one, a 7.5. 7.5. So you're saying this matches Norton's of 
Digbeth, or would you say it's worse? Because I think you're being a bit generous there, Sean. Yeah, probably am. Norton's definitely in, in Birmingham was better than this. What did they give Norton's? 7.5. Did I? Well, this is going to have to be a 7 then, I'm afraid. <coughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Revised my marking on the back of what I give Norton's in Birmingham. For me, presentation, let it down. Bubbles in the head, dirty glass. Yeah. Dot Old Style obviously saved it a bit, but not enough yeah. to warrant uh, extra points. So for me, I'm going to give it... Um, I'm going to give it a 6.5. And the lacing now looks pretty good as well, so I'll stick with a 7. Very nearly, I nearly went to a 7.5. To be fair, that was a creamy finish. Yeah, I know. And I, I know you Bellas love a good creamy drinks. finish. Yeah. Oh, I always love a creamy finish. But that's, <laughs> if, it, if that had the, the nice dome uh, and, and, you know, none of that shit on the glass, I'd have given that probably 7.5 virgin on higher. It got better as you went down it, the first bit yeah, wasn't right. It did, But the further absolutely. down it got, and the better it I got. I don't know whether it's just where you get used to it, but I yeah. felt like there was less of a twang. Yeah, the so. twang had gone by the time I got down to halfway. Yeah. So, out with the twang, in with the, in with the cream. That's a fucking slogan, out of the twang, it? in with the cream. Yeah, let's have a bit more of that please, yeah, right, the next so. pub we'll go into. This is the free mount. We're going to go off to the station now and hopefully see where we go from there. The free mount, thank you very much. Um, had potential, didn't quite fulfil it, Not but today. on another day, on another day, that could have could have smashed it out of the park. So uh, yeah, thank you very much. There we go. Oh, and another score for England. What, yeah, another goal. That's two 0 England. There we go. Um, and two pints down for us, Sean. Yeah. Let's hope it's three for both of us. Yeah, later. Cheers, guys. Here we are at the Circus Tavern, which is apparently the smallest bar in Europe. Smallest bar in Europe? Yeah, Seriously? Apparently. Are we uh, going to get in? It's a historic interest, apparently. It's got a plaque and everything. So, um, I mean, it looks pretty small. Apparently, it's more to do with the bar than the actual pub, you know, where they serve the, the, the pints from. So, But it has been recommended, hasn't it? Yeah, it has been. It's on the list of Guinness recommended. Right. So let's hope, you know, they're living up to the recommendation. Let's get in there, Sean. Let's get in. Come on. It's cold. Right, gloves off for this one, Charlie. Oh, smallest bar in Europe. Here we are. The Circus Tavern. The circus. A lot of recommendations for this place. So, um, lovely please. lady behind the bar. Very accommodating. Yeah. Thank you. Let's see what it's <laughs> like. Cheers. Ooh, Sean. Bit of a surprise there. That's Ooh. creamy. Creamy. That's creamy. It's Temperature and... spot on. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. We went to where did we last go? The the Fremount it was, wasn't it? Fremount. Yeah. And that was all right for creamers, wasn't it? It it, it didn't blow my socks off. Not as nice as this. But yeah, this is definitely it's hitting the spot. So if we're talking about the pub, Sean. Well it is pretty cozy, isn't it? It's a gorgeous little pub and it is little. Yeah, you've got like your sitting room and maybe yeah. your kitchen or your dining room or something. That's almost what it feels like. It's got the fireplace. I'd love to buy a little terraced house now and turn it into this pub. Yeah. It'd be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. But we're into now the normal glasses we normally get in the UK, which a lot of people don't like, but I, I've always liked them. And in fact, now the Irish are going mad for them. Yeah, it's weird because there was that so. phase about these glasses, apparently in Ireland, where they were like, oh, no, they're too different. But now they left it a few years and they brought them back in. And you've been saying that people have been loving them. So They've been loving them. In the last pub I was in, Powers in uh, Dunmore East, Apparently got a load of these in for the Bluegrass Festival. The end of the weekend, they'd all been stolen. Really? Yeah. All stolen? So all the Irish lads are loving yeah. them. So they probably, they're probably new to them now, aren't they? Whereas it's another thing I'm going to say about this pub. For years. Yeah. Lovely, clean glasses, right? Which we yeah. love. And we didn't have that in the last place, did the we? The last place they were, I'm not going to say mank, but they were not good. <laughs> they were not well, they, they were mank. Mank, they, you're in a mank. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they were mank, but they were... Also a bit Jewish. manky, yeah. yeah. And I'm going to say it, Sean, I'm beating you to it now these days, but I could drink that all day. 
I could stay here, couldn't I? I'm so glad you said that. Yeah. <laughs> Put another log on the fire. <laughs> you know what? It's, it's sad, isn't it, when you've got to move on to another yeah. pub and do another review. When you find yeah. a good one, you're like, right, let's just stay here, but let's you just can't. Settle. Yeah, let's yeah. just stay. But guys, if you are in Manchester, just make the little effort just to come yeah, up this you know road. what? I, I, because obviously I used to go to uni here. Yeah. And I walked down this street to go past, uh, past Dawson's and to the uni around there, uh, and I never, never came in here. That now is I'm criminal, thinking, Charlie. What a crime! If I was going to uni in Manchester, I don't think I'd be going. I'd yeah. be sat in here all day. Yeah. They're not wrong. It is the smallest bar. Definitely. Um, it's. I don't know what. Well, we I are. argued with you when you said this is the smallest bar in Europe. I said no. There's one in Chester, which is absolutely tiny, but that's the smallest pub in England. The one in yeah, Chester. Yeah, well, there's pub and then the actual the bar itself where you serve the, f the drink from is is tiny. But this yeah. is even smaller than the pub in Chester. Yeah? Yeah, the whole pub. I love all this memorabilia of Manchester United. And as Charlie said, he's not a United fan, so it's going to kill him sitting Yeah, there. sat here next to Sir Alex. But I, I used to be, as a young lad, I used to love Man United, Bobby Charlton, all those guys, Georgie Best, and no. And it's lovely to see all this stuff around. So, yeah, very happy. I could drink that all day. There it is. There it is, folks. Honestly. I'm going in straight away. I'm going eight. I'm going to go because the lady serving it behind the bar was so nice. I'm going to give it an 8.2. You're beating me. This is what I, you're I'm going to. I, I want it to go over the. It's an eight. It's clear eight that all day. Yeah. Um, so yeah, come on down to Circus Tavern and enjoy a lovely, a tasty, great pint again. creamy pint. I wish I could stay for another one. Yeah. Well, sadly not. We've got a fire. Oh, we could stay. We could. We could. But we can't, Sean, because we've done it in the past and we, it gets a bit messy. It does. It gets messy. So we're going to have to be good little boys so the wives don't have a go. Yeah. Uh, and we're, we're going to move Reg, on. Reg, I'm moving on. Not having any more than one in here, honestly. I'm moving on. <laughs> yeah, it's all on camera, so, yeah. you know. It's right, all anyway. evidence. Yeah, nice Cheers. One. Still to come on Manchester Part 2. The Guinness isn't the only thing that's extra cold. I'm sat in the we middle of Didsbury in Manchester, yeah. freezing my bollocks off. Sean gets some great head. That's probably the best head I've seen today. And as we reflect on bad pints of the past, our mank references are in full flow. You can't look back to Leeds because you don't want to look back in anger. 